Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Saturday night, I'm just chilling. Let's tell some stories. I'll tell you about a good night gone bad many years ago. Santa Cruz, California, mid 90s. I was living down in Beach Flats, right off the boardwalk, Raymond Street. It was New Year's Eve. And I'm living in the ghetto, so my life was pretty hard and not really going very well in general. I had a lot of problems in every department. <laughs> you name it, I'm, I was struggling in it. And all I wanted was a good night. Just give me a good night. I want to have some fun tonight. I want to have a good night. I think I deserve a good night. New Year's Eve, good excuse to go downtown and party. So that's what me and my brother did. We went downtown Santa Cruz, New Year's Eve, and partied it up. And had a great old time. I had too much fun at some of the bars. We went to all the different bars, and they got a lot of different bars. We went to one bar and they gave us a free pitcher of beer, just because. There you go, thank you, it was great. Nice way to start it off. We went to get some pizza. And I forget what it was, but they gave us a free pizza. Free beer at one place, free pizza, oh, it was a great night. We go to another bar, didn't think we could get in. Turns out we, we could get in because we knew the bouncer and inside we saw some friends from the East Coast we hadn't seen in a couple years. And that was real cool. Hung out with them, chatted with them for a while. It was a good reunion. We went to this one really posh, kind of classy bar. Everybody's wearing suits. We're two thugs from the ghetto. And we were drunk. By the time we got to that place, we were drunk. Like, shitty drunk. We were still having a good time. And they had these bouncers at that bar that were wearing suits and earpieces. And my brother didn't like the one bouncer at all. And kind of got into it with him. And you know, I always got his back. So we got politely asked to leave which was kind of a big deal because it wasn't the type of place that people get kicked out of, but we got kicked out of a, a very posh nightclub bar, lounge, I don't know what you want to call it. But the good thing about it was, as soon as we got out front, we we're like, well, what do you want to do now? We're just drunk, having a good time, kind of wilding out downtown Santa Cruz, forget about our problems. This beautiful redhead chick comes walking out of the bar and she's like, hey, hey, she gives me her phone number. She's like, I saw you in there, but you were leaving. I couldn't get your attention. I'm like, I'm getting kicked out. I was leaving because I'm getting thrown out of the bar, sweetheart. <laughs> Didn't you see? And she gives me her number, and she's just like, I just want to give you my number. Maybe we could hang out sometime. She became my girlfriend. Oh, what a great night. I was having a great night. Finally, it was time to pack it up. End of the night. We'd done everything, seen all we could, getting drunk, a little tired, go home, smoke some weed, crash out, back down to the barrio, back down to the hood. As soon as we hit the outer skirts of the neighborhood, you kind of get the, little reminder of the politics and everything that's involved with living down there. And at that time, there was a, an enemy gang that was trying to push up on the edge of the turf. That's all I'll say about that. I don't want to go too deep into it because I talked about this in another video and I don't want to tell the same story twice. We pull around the corner, 
onto the main drag. We got to take another turn to get to my apartment. And as soon as we hit the main drag in the flats, we notice it's dead. Ghost town. This is New Year's Eve. There should be fucking hundreds of people out. Lowriders and street vendors and people hanging on the corners. This is a gang neighborhood. And there should be gangsters everywhere. It's dead. It's completely dead. And I knew that was a problem. I said to my brother as we pulled down the street real slow. He's like, why are you going so slow? I was like, because I'm looking for the body. And he said, what do you mean? And I was like, someone got murdered. How can you tell? Because there's nobody around. Everybody's scattered like water bugs. And cops are going to be here in a second. You don't hear the sirens yet because it must have just happened. My brother's just like, you're crazy. I slowed way down right in front of the little market. Bodies laying there, face down. Blood. His Raiders jacket's popping up. He's from the enemy crew. Just a reminder. You have as good of a day as you want. Just a little reminder. Don't have too good of a day. Sad part about it was, is it was a guy that I actually recognized. And he wasn't that bad. You know, if, if, if someone gets murdered and it's a guy you don't like, you don't really care so much. Maybe they deserve it. Fuck them. But this guy didn't deserve it. He was young. Young teenager. A teenager was murdered that night. One that I knew, a kid that I knew. So we drove home in silence. Finally, when we parked the car, we could hear the sirens coming. They take their time. They don't rush down to the flats. And they're not coming down there to investigate. They just come down there to pick up the body and drive off. Good night ruined. <laughs>